Hi everyone, Andrew here. Uh, welcome to the Runtime Collider and Light Gizmos plugin. So this is a plugin that um, implements a bunch of collider and light gizmos that you can use in your uh, applications. So they, they can be used in game, yeah, at runtime. Uh, useful if you want to build uh, level editors or um, modding tools for for your game. Uh, so basically, uh, the the gizmos in the current version, uh, the gizmos that are available are um, box, sphere, capsule, colliders, yeah, and character controllers. And then uh, for light gizmos, you have directional light, point light, and uh, spotlight, yeah. And these gizmos behave in pretty much the same way as the ones that uh, you can use inside the Unity editor, yeah. So you're, you, I'm not gonna walk you through how you can actually use them. Yeah, you can just use the handles to change the size and and all that. Um, but there are a few differences that I would like to point out. So first of all, uh, notice that the, the box collider here, which is centered around the red cube, has this uh, tick in the middle. Yeah? So the, the other ticks can be used to change the size on one axis. But if you use the tick in the middle, um, you can uh, uniform scale uh, the box glider like this, yeah. So it scales it along uh, all the axes, along all three axes at the same time. All right. Now, uh, by default, uh, when you drag a tick, notice that it doesn't uh, it doesn't scale, it doesn't preserve the center of the of the box, yeah. The pivot point is actually the tick on the opposite face. Uh, this is the behavior that uh, I observed in the Unity editor, and I decided to keep it. However, uh, if you hold now the if you hold down the shift key and drag the tick, notice that uh, you can preserve the um, you can preserve the uh, the center of the box. Yeah, so you can scale from center. Uh, if you hold down the control key, uh, you can actually snap. Yeah, and uh, those snapping uh, increments, uh, the default is 0.1, but you can actually change those uh, from uh, from script. Uh, all right. Uh, next, we have here, for example, we have a, um, a capsule collider. Uh, the, the same rule applies. Yeah, you have to hold down Shift in order to scale from center. Yeah, I'm holding down Shift now. And now I can scale from center. Uh, there's a undo and redo. Yeah, so if I hold down, if I press Control Z, I can uh, undo all the changes that I've been making, and Control Y will redo all the changes. All right now. Um, here we have a point light. Yeah, notice how the influence increases based on uh, range. Yeah, uh, a sphere collider here. All right. Uh, this is a character controller. You don't see. Uh, there is no difference between. Uh, I mean, visually speaking, there is no difference between a character controller and the capsule collider. Um, Except for, uh, for example, for the capsule collider, the capsule collider can have the three, uh, you probably know, it, it can have three different uh, orientations. Uh, the current orientation is set, the current direction is set to the Y axis. Uh, so it's the same as the character controller, but you can actually, you know, you can change that. Um, and the gizmo will reflect the, the correct direction. Yeah. All right now, let's talk about the directional light that we have here. Yeah. So um, this is, uh, it contains a, uh, uh, an additional functionality in contrast to what the Unity editor offers. You see, there's a um, there's a small tick here. If you click and drag the tick around, what you can do is you can change the direction of the light based on the uh, based on what the mouse cursor intersects inside the scene. Yeah. There you go. So you can uh, you can just do this. Let's uh, let's leave it like this for now. Yeah. So it's pointing. In that direction, uh, and we also have a spotlight. Uh, you can change again. It's the same as the one inside the Unity editor. You can change the range. You can change the spot angle. Yeah. There you go. And finally, uh, as is the case with the point light, there is a tick here uh, that can be used to change the direction of the spotlight. Yeah. So uh, you can just, again, you can move the mouse around and based on the objects that are intersected, uh, the, the, the light will change its, uh, its orientation. Uh, and uh, of course, if you don't uh, hover any objects, there's actually the scene grid that can be hovered. Yeah, so um, 
the same grid can also be used as a as a target. All right, uh, that's uh, yeah. So that's that's pretty much it. Um, hope you I hope you enjoy the plugin, and uh, thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.